when you go to these job interviews, you have to be a likable person. I just had my first interview waiting for the call back. Shout out to Dreddy Bing. So that's another thing, right? Let's talk about job interviews real quick. What do you guys think is the most important aspect about getting a job? Is it learning the information to get certified, developing the experience, or successfully selling yourself at the job interview? Like, What do y'all think is the most important? Well, I'm pretty sure y'all already know what the answer is. So here's the thing. I talk to a lot of people that want to get into tech and all of them, they all want to get certified, which is a good thing. They all want to get, get certified, go get their first job so they can start making the big bucks. But what a lot of people don't realize is when you go to these job interviews, you have to be a likable person. You have to go in there and convince these people that they actually want to hire you because they like you. Not necessarily just because you meet all of the requirements, but do they actually like you as a person. And I say this for a reason because I come across so many people that have the mental capacity to pass these certs, but they're like highly introverted people. I'm talking about younger people, of course. They don't have like these phenomenal social skills, right? They're just introverted. They don't like making eye contact with people. When they shake your hand, they give you the limp wrist action. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just on some, it's on some, some weird stuff, man. And so when I tell people, I'm like, listen, you have to go into these job interviews, not only being technically competent, because they're probably going to ask you some tech questions based on the position that you're getting hired to do, but you have to be likable. They have to like you. <laughs> so if you come into the job interview and you didn't brush your teeth that day, or you didn't take a shower and put deodorant on, you know, you're probably going to be offensive to people. And I know some of y'all are thinking like, do people actually do this? Yes, they do. People actually do this. Yes, they do. You're going in there to sell yourself because these people, they're going to eventually have to be working around you. So if people don't like you, they don't like your personality but you know how to do that job frontwards and backwards, you may or may not get the job because they just don't like you. <laughs> and it's nothing personal, but you know, it kind of is what it is. So shout out to Dreddy Bing. He says he had his first IT interview. He's waiting on his call back. Shout out to him. Also, I did a video on my channel showing you guys how to uh, up the odds of you passing the AI. Oh yeah. So talking about artificial intelligence again. So you guys know when you submit these job resumes onto sites like Indeed or whatever the case may be, there's like a 99% chance it's being scanned by some software to see if you have enough keywords in there. And if you don't have enough keywords on your resume, they're probably going to reject your resume. You won't even get to sit down and talk to a person. I did a video on my channel. It's called something about just, just, just type tech G and resume or something like that. It'll pop up. It's a little hack, quote unquote hack to teach you how to up the odds of your resume, making it past the artificial intelligence or whatever scanner that they're using. Now, is it a guaranteed way to get it past it? No, but I would use the technique anyway. That, that's all I'm going to say. So go find that video, check it out, and hopefully uh, you can get some success out of that to at least go sit down and have a face-to-face -face with the person that's uh, interviewing you. But when you do get to that face-to-face, -face, man, make sure you brush your teeth, wash your ass, and put deodorant on. I mean, I'm, I'm being so damn serious about that. Like you would think that that's common sense, but you're going to be so surprised how many people, young and old, introverted, but like I say, especially with a lot of young people that are coming like straight out of high school and college, how many of them just don't like, their social skills aren't just nowhere near as outgoing as people of my generation. And like I say, I have a 17 year old son. I kind of see this with him, although I do make him wash his ass and brush his teeth. But you know, when, when it comes to the social department, my son, he said, 17, how I was at 17 years old versus how he is, it's like two different people. We look almost like twins, right? Compared, you know, how, how, how I used to look when I was 17, but I was extremely outgoing. You couldn't tell me crap, man. I, I was out there just in everybody's face, shaking hands, kissing babies, all that crap, right? My oldest son, he ain't like that, man. He's all into his video games, all introverted. Now he'll come out of his shell because I have him taking martial arts classes. He goes martial arts training four nights a week. He takes uh, jujitsu, Brazilian jujitsu twice a week. And then he does some other Korean martial arts. I can't pronounce the name of it. When he's in there, because I was watching him the other night. Oh, man, he's like a whole nother person. He don't came out the shell. He in there whooping everybody ass. 
So I'm like, go son. Yeah, do, do the damn thing. Like, that's my boy right there, right? But he takes his uniform off and goes back into his normal mode. He, he just goes back into his little shell, man. But I noticed that that's, that's the thing with a lot of young people, man. What kind of references do you need except from CompTIA certs for cybersecurity job? What do you mean references like uh, certifications, education, job experience? I'm not sure what you mean. So here's the thing. So let, let's go over the, uh, the most important aspects of getting a job. The most important aspect of getting a job is who do you know? So if you know somebody that works at the company, that's your best bet for getting a job. Who do you know trumps everything in life. Who do you know and do they know you? That's the most important thing. Now, if you don't know anybody at the company, then you need to come up there with some doggone certifications or excuse me, some some uh, experience. If you don't have the experience, you have some doggone certifications and then education so all, all this other crap. So I'm not exactly sure what you mean by references, like are people writing you letters of recommendation? Your references should be your resume. That should be your, your biggest reference. What you do on your resume in terms of past jobs, employment history, you don't have any crazy gaps. You're not hopping around from job to job every six months, unless you're on some type of contract work or whatever the case may be. What type of relevant certifications and or education that you have that aligns with the job that you're trying to get. So you need to tell your resume. Basically, don't put out a one size fits all type of resume is what I'm trying to say. That should be your major reference right there. Now, if you know some people that work at the company, you got to inroads into it like that, then I would do that. I mean, because I had to use that once um, when I was trying to go for a job, the one that I currently work at. I had to get a letter of recommendation from people who knew me because of the position I'm working. But here's the thing. I know a lot of people in the military, lower ranking, high ranking. One of my fraternity brothers that I went to college with, he just happened to be a colonel in the US Army working at the Pentagon at the time. So I got a letter of recommendation from him. And obviously that carried a lot of weight in me getting hired at the job that I do now. Because it was like, oh, wow, you know, a colonel that works at the Pentagon. I'm like, yeah, dude was my best man in my wedding when I got married back in the day. So yeah, I, I've known this cast is 18, 19 years old. Hell yeah. He's going to give me a recommendation. So that helped me out. But uh, if you ain't got that, if you don't have connections like that and references like that, then you need to get that resume together and get them, um, the certifications on and popping.